Hello and welcome to a new video. A video that's going to be very different from me. Why? Because I've been given an opportunity to work with a brand. Something I've never done before. I have never ever in all my videos really talked about a product, a photography product that I feel is essential. And that's why I am working with this brand. Because it's not just some gloves or a piece of equipment that gets stuck in the bottom drawer or even a microphone. This was my own. Also, this product <laughs> has transformed the way I think about composition. Uh, it's not because of the brand and it's not so much because of the product. It's because of what this product is and what, basically, what it does for my photography. So I'm really happy to announce the new sponsorship. Mm. It's Vimto! No, it's not. I wish it was. Love this stuff, especially hot. Sorry. This, this, this is who seven artisans have been really kind reached out to me and sent me a rather unusual lens a 10 millimeter f 2.8 fish eye yeah a fish eye a lens that people said so you don't need one stay away from it it'll just sit in your bag or in a drawer whatever and when I was at university, I used to always experiment with various glass and a fisheye lens was something that I like to use for architecture just to create crazy angles and shapes. Why? Because I was a bit like that back then. I was quite a, a bit of a psychedelic warlord. So anything where I could bend or twist or change reality was a good thing. And I've got one. I've got myself a fish eye lens. And it's a Nikon Z mount. Full frame. 10 millimeter f2.8 by 7 artisans. And I have been playing. And I have been having a lot of fun. Over at Crank Hill. Over at My Tree. And out and about in Woodland. This could be uh, very interesting for some Woodland shots. So there's not going to be much talking from me in the field. Literally in the fit oh look at this color see shots like this i think could be interesting with the fish eye you see top of the seed heads it's golden cascade of light on the wheat i'm gonna get a shot of that but beforehand i'll wrap up with you we're gonna head back we're gonna look through the shots i'm gonna tell you the positives and the good things about this lens and possibly a couple of downsides I can't see it be anything to do with the manufacturing or the lens itself because it looks and so far has been wonderful to use. Don't forget, I have been sponsored to make this video, but this is my first sponsored video and I won't hold back. And Seven Artisans know that and they're happy for me to speak my mind. Now, so far the experience has been great and we will jump into that in more detail i'll tell you all the technical side of this lens and and just what i think i'm going to get out of it and then we'll run over the shots but seeing as this is my first talk about gear really on the channel properly a dedicated video to a lens i'm kind of like buzzing it's just been a game changer in composition terms trying different angles pushing the lens down and up to change the field of view and accentuating branches and trees or accentuating the horizon in a way that works and doesn't look odd that's the thing about this lens is knowing your limitations and look at this for a piece of glass that's so heavy front-ended it's solid the construction of the lens is predominantly metal. It's even a metal lens hood to protect that piece of glass. Fit the best ever rest. I tell you what, I drop a feather against that one. It is thick, very, very good piece of glass. And it seems to have quite a good dispersion to light and 
and not getting lens flares because I've been shooting directly into the sun and playing around with uh, just bending reality and curving light and, and I've not been getting a, a lot of uh, flare. It's hard to focus handheld, so it's a must on a tripod. It's manual. It's a manual aperture and it's a manual focus. That's fine for me. I, I really don't mind that. Stick it on your tripod, get your composition worked out, get down low, get down high, twist it, bend it, move it. A bit of a workout for me, so I'm really enjoying playing with this. Uh, we've got a few things. I've made a few notes. It's available, of course. I have the Z7, Nikon Z mount. It's a Sony E mount. It's a Leica Panasonic Sigma L mount. The L Mount Alliance. Yeah, I won't go there. Um, Canon R mount as well. So my Canon friends out there, I've got quite a few. I know someone asked for to be friends with them. Uh, yeah, it's it's available on all those mounts. So it, it is well worth having a look at because for two hundred and fifty five pounds, correct? Yes, is not a lot of money for something of this quality. Now I do have positives and negatives about this lens. The positives are. It is very experimental, which makes you think about what you're shooting a lot more. That's a great thing. It has its limitations, especially for landscape photography, because you are bending reality. You are bending, <laughs> you're not bending reality. You are bending the horizon and the world around you. If you keep it straight, it's a very wide uh, field of view and then you can crop in and play around with where you're going to put the horizon after in post-production but straight out of camera uh, yeah you need to be careful on how you're using it because it can start creating odd artifacts and bending of scenes where it looks a little bit girish or unnatural shall we say um, I, I do have a shot and shots at the end for you to see what I've took with this lens. And you'll see one of the images with the bending of a fence. But I quite like it, the way I've done it in this image. But that's down to you. See what you think about the images at the end. Um, one of the images I've took with this is of Crank Hill and the tree that I adore and I've visited throughout lockdown and throughout isolation and whatever else we've had to put up with this past two years that tree's been a bit of a savior for me so i was nipping up there and testing this lens out on that tree and one of the images that i've took i put on Flickr, and it's the most successful image for comments likes and views i've ever had on Flickr. over ten thousand views which is just mind-blowing Thank you to everyone who loves the image. I'll leave that right till the end and you can have a look and see what you think about that image. Or head over, come and join me on Flickr or all the other social medias. I'll put the links down below. Also, I'd like to say a big thanks to Seven Artisans for getting in touch with me, having the conversations and getting to really know them and what the company's about and sending me this magnificent lens. I'm blown away because you get sent lots of different tat and products by brands that I've never wanted to work with. I've never wanted to endorse because I couldn't get behind it wholeheartedly. This piece of glass is engineered so well. It's a beautiful piece of lens. I used to love using old Russian and old uh, German lenses many years ago, and they were very heavy, solid metal lenses. And this reminds me of that era of a almost like a retro, uh, a vintage lens, but with the capabilities in the camera and in modern technology to produce a high quality image. So th this ticks a lot of boxes. Go and have a look at the website, sevenartisans.co.uk and have a look through all the lenses. I'm currently eyeing myself up uh, a 1.235mm. The next video that I'm putting out is a street 
kind of street. It's a look back at where photography started for me using the X100S. But if I get the 35mm for the Nikon Z mount, I could be using this setup, that camera with the 7 Artisans lens because I'm so impressed. And the Fuji will just be round my neck as a second shoot, second camera, if I need to grab something or something's happening before me on the street. But for now, we're talking about this lens, the fish eye. So let's tell you a little bit more about it. It's an ultra wide, fast aperture, full frame lens for the Nikon Z mount and available in all the other mounts that I mentioned earlier. You can capture ultra, and I mean the uh, ultra wide, <laughs> just mind blowing. The, the detail that you can get with a maximum aperture of f2.8 which brings me to a point that we haven't spoke about yet i really want to do some um nightscape some astro photography not to the standards of alan wallace of course i don't have the gears the trackers and all that this is just from the ground zero to start off i thought i'll give this lens a try um, f2.8 fabulous for that a big wide open aperture and Richard Tatty is someone I've been watching a lot and I admire and love his work he's a fantastic photographer I go over and see his channel and go and follow him on social media his photography is just incredible he's a fantastic astro and landscape photographer and Richard is really worth spending some time to look at his photographs. As I said, it's a 10 millimeter f2.8 and it has 11 elements in eight groups. It gives you a field of view of 178 degrees. <laughs> so I've tried using this to handhold the Nikon Z7 and do some vlogging with it. Manual focus. Once you get it in the right sweet spot for holding it away from your face at the right place, it could work, but it's heavy. It is heavy. Um, and it is a bit of fun. If you want to do some vlogging with this and, you know, getting your nose up to it and just playing around with that field of view is a lot of fun. It's a minimum focusing distance of 17 centimeters, which I've also played around with some wheat and fields and just pushing it in and out and playing around with that f2.8 close up and blowing out the background. And it's interesting. It's fun. That's what this lens is. It's a bit of fun. And well, the packaging, the way it came in the box, Everything about it is a piece of quality for a price you can afford. I'm endorsing it like this because when I first started off, I was using second hand vintage lenses on a Pentax setup and it, it was great. It, it got you fired up. It got you to experiment with different compositions and different styles of photography. And this lens takes me back to those exciting moments of, of getting out and going, oh, you know, you, you're buzzing, you're getting out. What am I looking for? And you, your eye changes the way you're looking. The way you look changes and you start to see things differently. And that's what I felt with this lens. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and chat. And uh, yeah, my first product promotion video for a brand I am happy to work with. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Seven Artisans. And if you get anything from this, fantastic. You don't need to go out and spend a fortune on gear to get going and experimenting in photography and producing some original ideas. And that, for me, is the core and the key of my photography, is to get out and produce something that's original and something that's different. Whether it's any good... <laughs> Well, that, that's up to you. Well, I like it, and that is the key to all my photography, is I'm always reaching to produce something that I get a buzz from that I'm happy to have printed and on my wall. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. And well, there's only one thing left to say, and that's... Sithy!
sponsored by Vimto.